almond orchards cover nearly 600 miles of the Central Valley of California. It's maybe 700,000 acres. 80% of the world's almonds come from there. If you're a large-scale beekeeper, um, you actually, your main industry isn't necessarily making honey. You're a, you do industrial pollination services, which means you rent out your hives to almond growers or blueberry farmers or any sort of flowering fruit um, needs your bees to pollinate because there's just nothing nearly as efficient as the European honeybee for pollinating. I'm Jeff Anderson. I own and operate a small migratory commercial beekeeping operation called California Minnesota Honey Farms. While these trees look like they're in full bloom, they're really not. You look up at the top there. Well, bees are quite important for agriculture because there's a number of crops that without uh, insect pollination would cease to exist, and almonds is one of those. Some of the pricing issue is on the value added to the crop from pollination. Almonds in particular are probably one of the higher paid pollinations. This year the price, 2013 price for almond pollination uh, started in the 140, 150 range <clears throat> and because of the bee shortage, uh, almond growers are paying as much that, I, that I'm aware of are paying as much as $220. You can see there's a few bees See, it had a queen in there, but the bees here are, are dead. They, they died from some malady over the uh, winter, and in, in the case of this bee operation, which was out of Idaho, we're fairly convinced it was uh, pesticide applications to sagebrush. Most uh, honeybees that are moved, or you know, migratory bees, are are palletized. They're trucked on flatbed trucks generally. Back in the good old days, uh, we would have about a 16% average bee mortality for the full year. And in recent years, here uh, USDA has started tracking the overwinter losses, which have been hovering plus or minus 30% since the inception of the term colony collapse disorder in 2005. I started with uh, 3,150 colonies in April of 2012, and I'm pollinating in February of uh, 2013 with 992 colonies that are left alive out of that bunch. We're talking uh, quite a number of colonies that I'm not getting paid for. The real answer, I think, uh, and from talking to different farmers and beekeepers, comes from using more native plants and giving the bees kind of a variety in their diet and just thinking a little bit more holistically about how we use these live creatures in our industrial farm economy.